Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my new Boss Lady fragrances. So I did do this video about two years ago. I will have that one linked down below. I did Boss Ladies and I paired them with different Boss Lady characters. I might give you guys a scenario, maybe a character, and I'm not really going to go over notes. I might go over what the fragrance is like described as but this is definitely more just of a fun video you guys can wear whatever you want i'm not a boss <laughs> i'm a boss lady like i have that kind of attitude but i i work for a boss i'm not my own boss so these are fragrances that to me demand that little bit of attention that a boss wants these are definitely like head turners they smell more expensive a little bit like money I've had people ask, what does that mean? The fragrance doesn't smell cheap. It smells like you got something expensive on. That's what I mean when it smells like money. For me, when I think of Boss Lady, you guys know I'm a fruity floral kind of girl, but I don't think of a fruity floral. I don't think of Gourmand when I think of Boss Lady. I just don't. I do have some alternatives, some lighter versions, because for me, when you're a boss, you kind of demand presence so i did include a few lighter versions of the ones i'm talking about because perfume you know can give people a headache but again guys this video is just for fun so let's go ahead and get into the list so kicking this video off i am going to recommend the entire leaf line by ysl originally when i had did that video i had put Samantha Jones from Sex and the City. If you ever watched that show, it's one of my favorite shows. Leap is Samantha, in my opinion. It's just this edgy, modern white floral. But if you want something a little bit sweeter, go for the Intense. If you're someone that gets bothered by fragrance, you want something lighter, not as heavy, not as edgy, go for the Eau de Toilette. And if you want something a little more spicy, but it dries down to be kind of honey sweet, I would say go for the Le Parfum version. All right, next we're gonna go over some classy. I did want to include Coco. I would say Coco the Eau de Parfum is a little bit more office, a little bit more of a classy, maybe older boss. This is a fragrance that I did not appreciate growing up and I absolutely fell in love with it. Recently, like maybe the last two years, I smelled it at the counter and I wanted it in my collection. This is a warm, spicy kind of floral fragrance. And I think it just is a classy kind of boss. Like I could almost envision, not my boss now, cause she actually got promoted to like corporate, but the woman who I love, Andrea, she's the one who hired me at my job. I could almost envision her wearing any of the classy fragrances I'm gonna talk about, specifically like the Cocos. And then also I'm gonna be going over another line that I just feel like it's them. They're women that are a little bit more old school, a little bit more classic. That's who I envision with these fragrances. Coco Noir is, I would say, a boss lady and maybe she's going to an event. This one is a little bit more formal to me. It's kind of citrus in the opening and then it's like a powdery, floral, kind of, I don't know if there's musk in here, but I'm smelling something musky. I know that a lot of the Coco fragrances have peach in it. I'm not sure if this one has it, but it's got a very kind of zesty, citrusy opening and then it dries down to a powdery kind of floral fragrance there is patchouli in this one but it's not that kind of earthy patchouli it's a little more blended in this one but definitely the cocos i mean any boss lady to me would have a coco in her collection if coco is a little too dated for you i do think gabrielle chanel essence is a really nice option it's lighter it's fresher it's got a little bit of a, of a fruitiness to it we got young ladies coming up and some of them don't want something mature so i would say this is a nice alternative it's a little bit more modern i will say that this doesn't perform the best but it is a nice option if again you want something lighter a little bit more youthful and not as mature because i do find those cocos to be a little bit more mature okay then the next fragrance is one that i i don't know if i'm gonna keep i go back and forth but this is gri dior by christian dior this scent is moody to me like this is a rainy day fragrance to me but it's still kind of a clean classy rosy fragrance it's got patchouli oak moss rose see right now i'm loving it but sometimes the patchouli in here bothers me but it's not bothering me 
today and it wasn't bothering me the other day when I sniffed it. But I did want to include this because I do find this to be a kind of boss lady fragrance. You know, bossy ladies can be moody, but I don't know what it is about this fragrance. This, this scent is like very moody to me and I tend to gravitate towards it when it's like gloomy outside. But I do think this is a nice scent for the office and I do feel like someone with money Someone, you know, with boss lady vibes would wear this. So again, that is Gris Dior by Christian Dior. All right, then next we have Ralph Lauren Woman, the original and the intense. I do find the intense to be a little bit more boss lady. But if again, you don't want something too heavy, this is a nice option. I'm going to leave my review on these fragrances below, but my mind has changed a little bit. This one is one that I said doesn't garner me compliments, but since that video, I have gotten a few compliments wearing this one. Where I was on the fence, now I do enjoy these fragrances, but I do reserve these more so for the office. This one's a little bit more, the tuberose in here is more strong in this one, and it's got like a sweetness from the vanilla, and it's a little bit more of a heady floral, especially if you overspray this one. This one's lighter, it's got like a fruity touch to it, but not like an overly fruity floral. It's definitely more of a floral, slightly fruity fragrance. It's more of a white floral. Yeah, this one's not overly tuberose, it's there, but not like the intense, stronger in that one. This is a nice one. This one is maybe like your more quiet boss. This one doesn't demand a lot of attention to me, but I think it's a nice alternative if again, you don't want something strong. You don't need to have something heavy. That's just me having fun. Okay, the next one is another range that I think are perfect for like the office slash kind of boss lady fragrances. And that is the Givenchy L'Entrade line. Now this to me is more of a tuberose heavy fragrance got kind of a grapey opening and it's classy floral now there are different variations there's the intense which is a little bit more vanilla there's the rouge which is a little more warm spicy and then there's the edt version which is a lighter muskier kind of version of the eau de parfum i'll have my review on the four of these but i think all of them are great boss lady fragrances i especially think the original and again that is l'entradite the eau de parfum okay next let's go with something super modern i've been giving you guys like so many classy floral fragrances and this is one that when i imagine the boss babe she's working for like a marketing firm or something a little bit more modern a little bit more chic and a little bit more casual because in today's world, that's the direction we're heading in. My old boss that got promoted to, to corporate, one of our sales guy, he like left and came back and then he became the office president. The female version of him, he's younger than me, he's in his 30s, and he's just like very casual, but professional and smart. So think that female. So the fragrance I thought of immediately was Byredo's Bal Dafique. This is clean, woody. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so good. This is more like casual chic. So more business casual, you know, you got like a white button down, maybe some jeans and some really nice like white sneakers. And you still are the boss, but you don't have to be a hard ass. Like, that kind of boss is what I imagine would wear this. It's got that modern kind of clean, chic aesthetic. So this is another one that I think is a boss lady fragrance and that is Byredo's Bal d'Afrique. Next we have some Raja fragrances. We have three actually. We have Reckless and this is from the Essence line. They come in this kind of purple bottle we have raja parfum 51 and then we have raja's creation e also known as enigma now i did get enigma and reckless this one the raja team sent this to me i was super happy when they reached out to me and then twisted lily reached out to me and sent me this one and then i did purchase this one from max aroma these are pricier fragrances but you know, if you want to feel like a boss, <laughs> sometimes you got to spend a little bit of money. I will say that the ones with these kind of crystal tops are a little bit pricier. And I have noticed that on 
like fragrance net. You can get them cheaper where the top is this gold top. So I do think the bottle has a little bit to do with it. But if you want something kind of like a sweet white floral fragrance, this is gorgeous. The Reckless and Raja fragrances do get stronger with time. I know a lot of people complain about performance when it comes to Raja. Got to pay attention to fragrances that have this kind of pressurized atomizer. I do feel like they distribute the fragrance more like a mist so that you can control how much fragrance you want, whereas other atomizers kind of just disperse a lot of fragrance. So this one you do kind of have to put on a little bit more, but it's not that you're over spraying because again, it, those kind of atomizers, they kind of just like dust you <laughs> with fragrance. So this is a very kind of creamy, sweet, white floral fragrance very classy for the office and a little lighter then these two i have paired up in the past this one's a little bit more city vibes and this one's a little bit more southern vibes and i actually paired these up in the past with if you've ever seen the heart of dixie zoe hart she's kind of your city girl and then you have lemon who's kind of your classy southern belle and that's what these fragrances just I don't know, they smell like to me. This one's a little bit more of your slightly sweet but clean white floral. They both have Elaine, but yeah. This is definitely more Upper East Side Manhattan kind of girl. You got your white florals, clean, boss lady, high heel pumps. That's this one. This one's got a slightly peachy yellow floral kind of vibe to it, making it a little bit more of your Southern Belle. She's got a pretty summer dress on and maybe she's gonna pop in real quick to say hi to her employees but she's gonna take off with her love because she don't have to be in the office that's raja creation-y all right then next we have jasmine's marzipan this one is your clean kind of nutty slightly sweet not too sweet jasmine fragrance like this is jasmine heavy yeah this is very beastly less is more with this one i paired prada la femme which is kind of a clean tuberose fragrance with charlotte from sex in the city this can also go with charlotte this is your very put together very penthouse expensive i don't need to work but when i do i work at a, like an art gallery I wear pretty dresses, kind of boss lady fragrance. It's that pretty boss lady. When I think of this scent, I think of fragrances that kind of when I smell them, they remind me of the color white. I have three fragrances I can think of immediately like that. Nuda Veritas by Ateliers des Ors. That's another one that could have actually been in this video as well. Nuda Veritas is another one. It's another fragrance that smells clean and white when you think the color white and it's that kind of boss lady it's that pretty boss lady kind of like charlotte so prada la femme is the same but i wanted to give you guys something new but when i was thinking who would wear this that's immediately who i thought of this is again jasmine's marzipan by maison lancome okay and then last we have this is another one that i can't think of someone new so i'm gonna i'm gonna recycle but this is Athalia by Parfum de Mali. And in my first video, I had paired up Carolina Herrera's Good Girl with Miranda Priestly from the Devil Wears Prada. More so because of the bottle. But I do find that one to be a boss lady scent. But if I am really thinking of Miranda Priestly and what she's got sitting on her vanity, it's this scent. I have heard several people say that they decluttered this scent because it doesn't fit their personality. I've heard people call this one cold. I think someone um, said it was bitchy and I would have to agree. This is a cold, bitchy scent. Not that it smells cold. It's just the woman who's wearing it is like a cutthroat boss lady bee. Yeah, this is warm, spicy. This it's kind of incense-y. It's got a creamy floral and it's a little powdery. It's got iris, but it's not like that makeup-y powdery iris. It's definitely more just like a 
spicy kind of iris fragrance. This is another one that's blended very beautifully, but it is something that the person who has this definitely has a kind of mean streak to them, kind of like Miranda Priestly. So I see why some people say they can't pull this scent off. I mean, I don't know, I have so many moods that there are times when I feel spicy and bitchy, but I see what people are saying. And when I heard that, I, I thought it was pretty funny. So this is a scent that I could almost envision on her vanity. But coming in at the end, we have Athalia by Parfum de Mali. So yeah, guys, those are my top boss lady fragrances again this video was just for fun it's definitely subjective so you guys let me know what are fragrances in your collection that to you give you that boss lady vibe but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys